Welcome to the Chemi Kid. In this video, I'll teach you about distillation and how to set up a distillation apparatus. Okay, so distillation. What is it and how does it work? So distillation is a way of separating two uh, liquids. So let's say you have a mix of acetone and plain old water. So you want to separate these because you want to get the acetone on its own. But how to do that? Put it in a separatory funnel? That wouldn't work. They would just stay together. So this is where distillation comes in. What you do is you get a setup and it works because acetone has a different boiling point from water. So, what you can do is you can boil off the acetone, but, but the water won't boil itself. And then you'll recondense the acetone in a condensation column. So, that's how distillation is used and all about it. So, for the sake of this quick demonstration, is let's say A will be acetone and W will be water. So, this is a graphic of how distillation will work. So, at once the temperature, so you'll first heat this up on either a hot plate, or a heating mantle, or whatever you use. So, by the time the liquid reaches 67 Celsius, which is the boiling temperature of acetone, the acetone will start to boil off as a gas and the gas will be forced down into what's called the condensing column. The condensing column is a thin tube of glass with a big shell of glass out of it with wa cold water running through here. So the hot gases will be forced through here and the acetone will be cooled down enough that it'll all become a liquid. When it comes out the other side of the con condensing column, it'll come out as a liquid and drop into whatever receiving flask you have. So then you just have the acetone over here. And once the temperature starts to rise, you're going to want to stop your distillation. And then over in your receiving flask, you'll have high, pretty highly pure acetone. Or whatever other liquid you're distilling. Now over to how to set a distillation apparatus up. To set up a distillation apparatus, you'll need some source of heat, a clamp that I have here, then you'll need also a flask of some sort that you can hold the reaction in, a 75 degree turn, the third part is optional, you'll also need a condenser, which I have here, a receiving flask, Also, you'll probably need a thermometer adapter, and if you want, you can have an addition funnel or a separatory funnel. Here I'll show how to set up with the thermometer adapter. First, you're going to want to set down your flask. Then, to that, you're going to want to connect your three-way adapter. On top of that, you're going to take you your thermometer adapter. You're going to need the thermometer. And what I did here was I wrapped some PFT thread tape around here. You have to make sure it's PFT so it won't corrode. So just screw off this top and stick the thermometer down there and put it on top of here. The correct distance for the thermometer is you want the thermometer right in line with that lower joint. You're going to want to attach your condenser to your clamp and up here. Next, you're going to want to put your receiving flask under that end. And if you have adapters that can hook it up to make vacuum distillation, that's great. You'll just need to hook that up. Then you're going to want to set up some rubber tubing to have the water flow into your condenser. 
see so first this top tube just will go into a bowl I have over there with a pump that I will show you later then this other tube you're gonna want to set up so just a second let me adjust the camera and it will go into your pump I have a very small and not very powerful pump here that is actually exactly what I want so I don't flood my um, condenser and have it shatter under the stress. So I'm just going to plug in my pump and I'll show you how that works. Now I have water running through my condenser and I'm ready to heat up whatever mixture I have. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.